Today's topic is Huntington's disease, or HD. Huntington's disease is an incurable hereditary brain disorder that results in the progressive degeneration of the brain cell. The disorder has a great impact on a person's functional abilities and may affect movement, behavior, and cognition. Huntington's affects about 4 to 15 in 100,000 people, and most people develop symptoms in their 30s or 40s, although the disease can emerge earlier or later in life. The disease affects men and women equally, and the time of disease emergence until death is about 10 to 30 years. In juvenile HD, symptoms start before the age of 20. This accounts for 10% of the HD cases. The complications are usually fatal and may include pneumonia, heart disease, and injuries related to falling. The depression associated with Huntington's disease may increase the risk of suicide. In about 9% of cases, the cause of death is suicide. As the condition progresses, a person with the disorder may need help with all activities of daily living and care. At the late stage of the disease, the sufferer may be confined to bed and may be unable to speak. However, they will understand most of what is being said and will be aware of friends and family. Causes Huntington's disorder is a genetic disorder that is caused by mutation in either of an individual's two copies of a gene called Huntington, inherited in an autosomal dominant pattern. The normal gene has three DNA bases, composed of the sequence CAG, cytosine, adenine, and guanine. In people with the disorder, the sequence repeats itself several times, leading to an excessive production of cytosine, adenine, and guanine. This change results in a larger form of Huntington and is toxic as it accumulates and damages the cells in the brain. Each of us inherits our gene from our parents. These genes provide our body with instructions that influence our health, looks, and behavior. Each person inherits two copies of every gene, one from the father and one from the mother. The autosomal trait is one of the several ways that a trait disorder can be passed down through families. In an autosomal dominant disorder, only one copy of the defective gene is needed to be passed down from the parent before a person gets the disorder. Each child in the family, therefore, has a 50% chance of inheriting the gene that causes the disorder. Symptoms The condition results in movement, cognitive, and psychiatric problems. Problems with movement may include jerky, random, and uncontrollable movements called chorea, slow, saccadic eye movement, rigidity, writhing motion, and abnormal posturing, the difficulty with the physical production of speech or swallowing, stumbling. Cognitive problems associated with the condition may include difficulty in learning new information, loss of organizational skills, disorientation, lack of flexibility or tendency to get stuck on a thought, action, or behavior, slowness in finding words or processing thoughts, lack of awareness of one's own behavior, difficulty focusing, problems with multitasking, memory deficits that may include losing memory of the body or how to perform an activity or memory of one's life, inhibition of inappropriate activities such as sexual promiscuity, acting without thinking. The cognitive problems may worsen over time and lead to dementia. Psychiatric problems associated with the condition may include depression, aggression, anxiety, feeling of irritability, sadness, or apathy, worsen addictions that may include gambling, alcoholism, hypersexuality, social withdrawal, insomnia, fatigue, and loss of energy, a reduced display of emotion, frequent thoughts of death or suicide. Diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosis will include a physical examination combined with a psychological examination. This can be used to determine whether the onset of the condition has begun. The stage and length of progression can be measured using the Unified Huntington's Disease Rating Scale, which provides an overall rating based on motor, behavioral, cognitive, and functional assessment. Imaging studies of the brain may be taken to reveal the presence of any structural changes 
at the particular site in the brain affected by the condition. The test may also be used to rule out other conditions. It may include a CT scan and MRI. Because the condition follows an autosomal pattern of inheritance, a blood test may be carried out to count the numbers of CAG repeats in the Huntington alleles. Treatment No treatment can cure the disorder, but certain medications can lessen some symptoms of movement and psychiatric problems. Tetrabenazine and antipsychotic drugs such as haloperidol or haldol and chlorpromazine may help for movement disorders. Other medications may include amantadine, levoteracetam, antidepressants such as citalopram or Celexa, escitalopram or Lexapro, pulexetine or Serafam, antipsychotic drugs such as quetiapine or Seroquel, risperidone or risperdal, and mood stabilizing drugs can help with the psychiatric disorder. Psychotherapy, speech therapy, physical therapy, and occupational therapy can help manage the condition. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.